Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue with Jessica Jones. This is episode 11 of the third season. In the last episode, we saw how Jessica and Trish dealt with Dorothy's funeral. Also, Nosebomber was killed and the police thinks that Jessica did it, while Jessica thinks that it was actually Eric. But by the end of the episode, it was revealed that the killer was actually Trish. Who would have seen that coming? Also, Jerry wants to use Trish now that she knows she's the masked vigilante to get some things from Dimitri. So, well, what she thinks that her relationship with Keith will get better. Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start, so without further ado, let's do this. We have sold everything down to the floorboards, and your dad's child support barely covers our groceries. I know. Do you? Because I'm not seeing a serious effort here. Because you don't have to take that from her. I can't do this for you. It's all on you. Tell me you've got this. I've got this. You didn't need the light. How did you manage to get that? Is that what my mother sounded like? Did you give a shit? What do you mean did he give a shit? It's not the first person that he killed, so of course he doesn't give a shit. Feel good. Wanna do it again? Yes, Kelvin. I need a game. Any game. He was talking about gambling, right? You kill because it makes you feel powerful. Oh, that's your ammo. No, it's the byproduct of your work. Your work? You mean those torture porn pictures? Clearly, you haven't seen my latest achievement. She could have recorded him so easily right now. She already said that she's not afraid to go to jail as long as he gets what he deserves. So. It's the first hit. I deserved it. Second one? I'm gonna put up a fight. <laughs> you uh, blackmail guilty people. I'm rethinking that career path. What if you could put them away? Like in the grave. A dirty cop. What's he guilty of? Killing some drug dealers. Killed bad people. Kids. Poor kids. Who still had a chance to change. And he did it to steal their money. And he's armed. If you get hurt chasing my bad guy, Jessica's gonna kick my face in and I'll let Jessica her. is not my mother. <laughs> Who the hell are you? All that stolen drug money you donated to charity, right? Generally speaking, people who die deserve it. <laughs> Tyrone DeGrasse. 19 died in the back of your squad car i did the taxpayers a favor we got what we need don't tell me that's how he dies Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
inappropriate? Oh my god. I am joking. They think Jessica did it? That's bullshit. Of course it is. What would you think would happen if you go after him right after him went after him with Jessica? But what if? What if? What if Nussbaumer's killer is someone else? I'm not gonna kill someone else. Not kill, just to rough up another bad guy. Jessica's gonna know what you, what we did. It was my fault. I'll make sure she knows it because right now, she thinks you did it. Christ, this is so dicked up. I don't want her to lose you too. No. Neither do I. Oh, so cute. I'll go find us another asshole. I love his voice, so calm. Big Mama's lead. No way, I did it. Shh, ow. Act like a goddamn adult. God damn. They only feed their families if you do your job perfectly every day. <sighs> That's not a lot of pressure. And I blackmailed him a few years ago. The headache he gave me nearly put me in the hospital. Was the developer? And an arsonist. Repeat offender. It's what you can do. It's kind of amazing. Thank you. You could change the world. I just want an alibi for Jens. No. And then? A lobotomy? I'm about to bury my mother because of you. I will destroy the fridge. In exchange for a favor that requires your gifts. I do go after bad people. Remember that. And there's Jessica. Keep walking. Are the cops following me? No, not the cops. Keep going. Don't look back. I thought it was Trisha to call the police, but actually it was him. You better get the hell out of here before. Before you burn down another building? You're gonna do it again, aren't you? That's why you bought this. If you want him to tell something to the police, you better stop. Oh my god. I can take it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this too. You needed him alive for Jess. <laughs> I said, good job. Mm. No more. We're done with this. Not yet. I'm done. It's okay. You have to give it back. I know who's next. Oh. And that's the point. Trish became a vamp. Go and kill some people. So it was like this was the beginning of Hellcat it was an interesting parallel between her young self and the present. We all knew that Dorothy wasn't the best parent. As I said before, she's one of those pageant mothers that make their children go to hell just for a little bit of fame. You know, it's sad that People like Dorothy actually exist, you know, and even worse. I understand that they were at a rough moment in their lives, but putting all that pressure on a child is not, it's not a great idea. So they tried to do something. I never imagined that Nose Bummer's death was an accident. So Trish is killing bad guys now. I can't stop to, to think at the, at the Punisher because he is also killing the bad guys. Trish is doing it just to take her mind out of Salinger, you know, keep her mind busy. You know, she wants to feel like... I, I, I have to admit that I kind of agree with Salinger when he said that she's doing it just to feel powerful and I feel that's, that's true. But Frank Castle doesn't, you know, doesn't 
see himself as a hero, as a good guy. He said that I'm not a good guy, you know. I think it all comes down to how they see each other. Even if she thinks she's a hero, I think she does it more for herself, to make herself feel better. While Frank, I feel he does it for others. As he said, he can do these things, but doesn't mean it's easy for him. You know, he doesn't get anything from it, you know, not even peace of mind. I enjoyed the episode, it was, it was nice. Uh, I think it was one of the most interesting episodes till now from this season uh, and it's kind of a shame because we only have uh, two episodes to go. Just talking about the Punisher made me sad because I remember there won't be another season. I miss him. I miss John Bertal as the Punisher. Anyway, I think this is all I have to say about this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye!